Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. I just got done from work. I don't have much time but I'm gonna get a shower and then I'll explain what I'm doing. Okay so yes welcome back to the channel. Um, I just finished work. Six days of work. And today was very busy. But I hopped in the shower. Um, I literally, oh my god, this lighting though. No. I literally, I'm gonna be backlit because it's nearly, it's like half five. Um, oh my god, I'm all over the show. I rang my sister on the way home and I was like, can you turn like the heating on because I wanna have a shower as soon as I get home. So I hopped in the shower, that's why my hair is half wet and I look a bit of a mess. But I'm clean and I feel so much better. Like I feel nice. Cause like, you know the griminess of being at work? Um, I took my makeup off and we put it back on so I look a bit rough. I have this massive spot on my forehead that is hurts like a bitch. Quickly like blow dry like the top of my hair just so my hair wasn't completely soaking wet. And again apologies for the light going on the night but it's like the sun is setting and we're in this weird time that we're in this weird time that like the sky is really bright. The sun, when it comes out, is really bright and it's lovely. Um, so yeah, I'm done work and as you can tell by the title of this video... Oh, girl. Um, hold on, one second. And as you can tell from the title of this video, I am taking myself on a date. I am dating myself. Yes, it is true. I am a single gal. Um, I have been for a while to be honest, but um, that's another story. That's another story. Um, but to be fair, I'm just gonna take myself on a date. I'm gonna. I'm trying to prioritize me, even though I've been doing that. But I want to like treat myself and like do things. And just because like I'm single doesn't mean I can't do things by myself. And going to the cinema is one of them. I'm gonna go see June, um, or Dune, June, Dune, I don't know how you say it, June, like a sand June, sand June, I don't know, I'm putting like a J sound in there, anyways, um, Timmy Chalamet is in it, oh, babe, he's gorgeous, he's absolutely gorgeous, he's gorgeous, so he is, um, so is Zendaya, she's a gorgeous, she's a gorgeous gal as well, um, I watched the first June, June part one, um, like two weeks ago on Netflix one evening when I was bored um, and I loved it. I didn't really get the storyline. I know it's a book. I probably should read the book. I'm a book reader. I probably should read it. Um, and it was kind of dragged out and I was like, huh, but I liked it. I didn't have any complaints. But I thought it would be such a good film to see in the cinema. Like it's really impressive like the scenery and like the shots look really impressive on Netflix and that's saying something. <coughs> so it's Tuesday currently um, and the cinema up in Derry has like crazy Tuesdays where tickets are half price. So I bought it online, my ticket online um, and I cannot wait to eat popcorn and I'm gonna get nachos too. I'm gonna be a greedy bitch. I'm hungry. Okay. I'm gonna get salted popcorn. Can you still see me? Um, I'm gonna get salted popcorn and nachos with the salsa, not cheese. I've never tried the cheese, to be honest, and it doesn't sound appetizing. Um, but nachos and cheese, <gasps> um, salted popcorn. I'm not a sweet popcorn gal. If you are, good luck to you. Or if you're one of those crazy bastards that mix the two together, even worse. Hold on, I'm gonna put my sunglasses on so you can, I can see. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna date myself. I'm gonna treat myself, so that's what this video is. And hopefully, if you see this video and you're like, oh, you're scared to do things by yourself, girl, I've been doing it for like, I've been single six years, seven? I don't know, it's been a long time. Um, and I'm an independent bitch, as you see. I talk to myself. I've, I Every day I get off, I'm in my car. The last few vlogs have been in my car. I can only apologize. But I'm, I like getting out, I like doing things by myself. Um, I have been to the cinema by myself like maybe twice before I think. One of them was um, like my, my whole family went to the cinema 
and um, I wanted to see Transformers and they wanted to see something else so while they were in the cinema next door watching something I was in by myself watching I watched Transform one of the Transformers by myself and I'm pretty sure I've watched one of the Harry Potters by myself as well I've done it more than once um, so this is not a new thing for me but I've, it has been ages since I've been to the cinema because usually I'm like waiting for my sister to be free or one of my friends to be free or something good to see in the cinema. There hasn't been anything good in the cinema for such a long, long time. So I'm so hungry, I'm so excited. I can't wait for the food. I can't wait to sit down. <laughs> to be honest, I can't wait to sit down. I'm so fucking tired. Today was a really hard day at work. Like it was like nonstop. It's been like six days of fucking go, 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 go. Like usually you get like a wee hour where it's nice and you can like catch up and be prepared and get ahead but it's been non-fucking stop. The sun is so pretty. Fuck, I love Ireland. So yeah, I'm probably not just going to end this on the cinema because that will be a very short, a short vlog. Um, Because I'm off tomorrow and the next day so we're going to treat ourselves um, and take ourselves out on a couple dates. And even if you're in a relationship with somebody, even if you're single, if you're young, if you're old, you everybody needs to get out and do their own hobbies and needs time for themselves and needs to do things that they want to do. Um, like I cannot think of anything better than sitting in a dark silence, like in a dark room, sitting in silence by myself, watching the babes, you know, Timmy and Zendaya and eating popcorn and nachos. Like, I'm gonna be a fat bitch. I'm gonna eat all the treats. I'm not gonna feel guilty about eating the amount of food that I'm about to eat. I'm gonna have a great time. So come along on my dates. Come along. So, hold on. So, come along while I date myself because who else is gonna fucking do it? <laughs> No, it's like three minutes to nine. There is literally like a fun fair going on over there. Can you see that? It looks so fun. Haha, <laughs> fun fair. <laughs> oh my god, I didn't think I would be able to film because I thought it'd be it is pitch dark outside, but there's it's a very well lit car park. It was good. Damn. This story, I need to read the book, man. It's based on a book. I'm very tempted just to literally go on Amazon and buy the book. Is that bad? Probably because I have a whole list of books that I want to physically buy but I don't. But I want to know what the story is because i seen the first one. It ends on like a, you know, the story's not concluded. I, this is part two and again, the story's not concluded. <laughs> but it's such a good like visual film like it's so good like that was nearly three hours and it didn't seem that long like the story is so there is so much to the story like so much because like it feels dragged out but like a lot of shit happened but at the same time nothing happened you know what i mean like it didn't progress it progressed like a good bit but like you haven't got any answers i need to read the book fuck i think i just need to read the book I think that's my, I think that's my takeaway. I need to read the book. I might buy the book. Um, but yeah, the popcorn was delicious. My belly is like so bloated now. Um, you hear the bloat? Yeah. I ate my popcorn, I ate my nachos. My lips are so dry now because of a little salt. I want to go to the, to the amusement. But see, the amusements is something that I wouldn't do by myself, to be honest. I'm not gonna lie to you. Someone's walking past my car and looking at me. Um, yep, multiple people. That's just lovely. Um, oh, my lip balm exploded. 
the amusement is something I wouldn't do by myself. Okay, I would do a lot of things. Amusements would be such a cute date. Fuck. I'm single man. I need to start going on dates again. Just so I have somebody to do things with, but I don't really care. No, that's not like that's not like that's not actually a lie because Amuse yeah, it's cold outside and it was really good. I loved the cinema by myself. There was actually quite a few people by themselves. The person, there was a space next to me and then the next person was a man. He was by himself um, in front of me. I oh, no, sorry. And right next to me, there was a man sitting next to me and like his girlfriend or whatever. Like there was two people, a couple sitting next to me. And then on the other side of them was a man sitting by himself. So I wasn't the only one that decided that to go see that film by themselves. Okay, I don't know. <laughs> Sergeant Flick. Um, I don't know if look I I blue dried my hair. Look, this is my natural straight list. Do you see that? Do you see how just this if I don't blow dry my if I let if I let my hair air dry, it's just this. Like this. I can't call it curly and I can't call it wavy either. It's just like I call it straggly. Is that a word? Is that even a word? Straggle? Straggly? Anyways, Zendaya and Timmy. They're, they're goals. Oh my god, I love them. They are, they're just beautiful. They're great actors. They're beautiful. They're so good. That They make that film so well. Like, I couldn't imagine anyone else being cast in that film. It was good. Welcome to the, the June. Dune? I can't, I still don't know how you say it. June? Dune. Welcome to my review. Ooh. Um. So yeah, that was a success, I would say. Sorry, that was a success. Um. There's like amusement. This place in Derry is the Omniplex. No, it's not. The Movie Bowl. It's called the Movie Bowl. There is like a cinema. The bowling alley. There's amusements, and then there's somewhere to eat as well. Um, you can drink at the cinema, you can like, there's a bar, or it's the front, which is weird, but I'm driving so I can't have a drink. I haven't had a drink in a while. Fun fact about me, I haven't had a drink in months. Have I? I can't remember the last time I had a drink. Oh, I'm just sitting looking at the amusements. It looks, the Ferris wheel, it all seems so dodgy, but fun at the same time. Um... I can't decide. I don't think I'm hungry. My belly is so my belly is just so uncomfortably bloated. I just ate too much. I ate too much salt. <laughs> I'm blabbing. Okay. Um. I'm gonna head home, but this is gonna continue. I'm gonna continue the treating myself, taking myself out on a date. Um. So let's see what we get up to tomorrow, shall we? Okay. It's a new day. I bought this gooseberry plant, um, I'll link the vlog up here, and I need to plant it. So, um, along with the, you know, doing things I enjoy, I enjoy planting, even though I haven't been very successful. This is only my second year trying. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna spend some time planting a plant. Um, gooseberries, gooseberry bush. I have a pot here from last year that nothing grew in, so I have it. It's just got bits of grass and stuff, roots and grass and all that loveliness. the bottom of it and then put it in. Scissors. Do you have scissors ready? Ready to say hello everybody. Say hello to everybody. Ready? Say hello to everybody. I'm gonna get some dirty. And Massey's down here too. I'm gonna need scissors. Hold on. Thank you. 
enough now. I seen you. What you were trying to do. Can you not stand over me while I'm trying to... Right, the dogs are inside now. Sometimes it can be a bit much. Oh, sorry, kitty. She's planted. Now I know this plant pot is. I know this plant pot is not big enough. I just want to see if she grows. You know, she's been in like a plastic bag, so uh, she's sit gonna sit here in the sun. And once I know that she's not gonna die, I'll get a big massive pot, and then eventually she's gonna go into the ground. And this is the only thing that survived from last year, which was as a rose bush. This big stem is dead, but she's growing out of like a side shoot, so she's surviving. Um, she's growing very slowly, but the weather's going to be nicer now, so hopefully she grows. And hopefully you grow. I know this is not an ideal situation, but next week I'm going to sort out my gardening stuff I'm going to do. But I just wanted to get you in like soil, in like sunlight. So... This will suffice for for now until I can until you show me that you're not gonna die straight off the bat. Job done. Oh my god, this is like the third time we've been trying to start this little clip. Um so yeah, it's another day. Last night I went to the cinema. Um I just showed you my little gardening. Hopefully I got some kind of clips. Um this video, I don't really know what it is. It was like a date my like you know, go on a date with me. But also, it's kind of turned into just things that I do to relax, look after my mind, um, my sanity, as it were. Things that I enjoy doing by myself. Um, because, you know, oh my god, Car, are you really? Can you drive? Why are you braking? Oh my god, I'm actually about to beep at this person. <sighs> Positive thoughts. Um, yeah, I do enjoy gardening. I started doing it last summer, but I didn't start early enough, so all of my things died. Um, I was a like, success at a couple of things. It was like lettuce and spring onions and stuff that grew. I got more seeds this year, so next, um, I did buy a gooseberry plant, which I showed you. Plants to, okay, you don't know how to drive. Oh, and you've got one of those cars, huh? But yeah, now I'm going to do, now I'm on the way to do something else I love doing um, and I love doing by myself even more is my weekly takeaway. Um, I tell myself it's a week because I would just, I would just keep doing it. Every time the urge hit me, I would just get a takeaway. But I'm telling myself I'm only doing it once to save money and to like, you know, for health reasons. And I know last night I had all of that popcorn and nachos and it was glorious. But we're not judging ourselves, we are not shaming ourselves for enjoying our life. So I'm gonna go get a takeaway. I'm also gonna use this chance to... Roadworks, no, that's what we're for. I'm also gonna take this chance to do my little weekly shop, which is also something I do to look after myself. So yeah, my weekly shop is also something that I like doing. I love just... There's something so therapeutic about walking around a shop by yourself and just like, you know, I don't know, I love it. Like, if you watch my last vlog, which I'll put up here, I am busy. Like, I work full time, 40 hours a week, five days a, five days a week. I work, well, sometimes I work more than 40 hours, but I work a full time job. And it's a lot of like just going to work and coming home and sleeping and going back and going to work again. So these days that I have off, uh, my evenings, my days off, I love, like it's a necessity 
to just do things that I want to do and that bring me joy or peace or happiness or just that distracts my mind. I freaking like it's a necessity. It is something I need to do in life. And I love my little weekly routine of like doing my little shop, eating my takeaway, um, you know, my gardening. It's something that I'm not good at but and I don't know what I'm doing. But it's something that brings me like so much satisfaction, like in the summertime, seeing things that you grew. Oh, I love it. I love walking my dog, spending time with my dog. So I'm going to take my doggy for a walk later on as well. Um, so yeah, let's go. Let's go get some food. Yeah. My goodness, that actually took so long to do. I got some mozzarella dippers. I'm going to show you a little bit of what. Um, mozzarella dippers. We're gonna open up the salsa there. Enjoy a mozzarella dipper. Mmm. Mm-hmm. 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 You should never like these, but I love them. long time to do but hey ho also with a, a large coke my guilty pleasures in life okay so I'm gonna sit and eat at McDonald's I'm probably gonna watch a YouTube video while I do it because it's another thing I like doing is sitting in silence and eating my food and watching YouTube videos is also a guilty pleasure of mine, so I'm going to do that. And I'll see you after. Okay. I made it. I ate all my food while it was glorious. As usual. Um, and I'm at Sainsbury's. So I'm just going to enjoy my little walk around, looking at all the things. I might have like all my snacks for work. My usual, my usual snacks. Um, a lovely day. It's a beautiful morning. I'm tired and I, I didn't mean to, I was gonna have a lie in, you know, and treat, like today was supposed to be like a treat myself, you know, do all the things I want to do. Um, I was gonna have a lie in, but I accidentally left like half of my curtain open, which I do when I have to be up early. So like the sun, naturally helps wake me up you know what I mean because the sun rises outside my window so it gets brighter outside and I accidentally left it open so I woke up thinking it was maybe like nine or ten and I was like six <laughs> so I got up super early which I didn't want to but I got up and got stuff done so I'm not complaining but I'm hitting the wall now, it's like half, it's only like half three in the day. And after like a belly full of food, it's like, oh, uh, curl up in my bed, sounds lovely. But yeah, I'm gonna go and um, do my shop. I'm not gonna film that because, weirdly enough, I have loads of hauls up on my channel. Um, and that's not what this video is. So, I'm gonna get my coat on because it's still a bit chilly. <clears throat> and I'm gonna go my, do my wee shop. Okay, so I'm done my shopping, and I'm heading home, and I just have one thing to say, and it might offend somebody, but dairy people don't know how to drive, and it's a straight up fact. It is so, like, I've just been cut off, like, twice already. They'll take, like, when there's two lanes, they'll take the outer lane, because they think it's faster. And then when they get to like the point where they have to turn off or like a red light, they'll just cut in front of you. And it's like, girl, the place, the time and the place to choose your lane was way back when. Not just because it's slow. Everybody's already in their proper lane. This is how you do it. It's not like, a, it wasn't, the lanes aren't like fast and slow. It's like, which direction are you going in? And they'll cut across like three lanes of traffic because like, 
one lane was too slow, so they like cut around. It's so annoying. And they don't know, it's not even that they don't know the rules of the road, but they don't know like right of way. Like, you'll be like sitting in a traffic jam and then you'll get to go and there'll be people coming out of the side road and they'll just fly out without even stopping. And it's like, girl, I have the right of way. You don't get to cut me off. It's so annoying. I get cut, every time I go into Derry, I get cut off at least once. So be offended if you want to, but I'm speaking the truth. <laughs> Derry people, Derry people are impatient drivers who don't know the right of way or the rules of the road. And I'll be by you if I have to. So. I made it out for my walk. It's definitely a little gloomier than it was earlier, but it's a little chilly, but once you get going, it's not that cold. Um, I've got wee Massey Moo with me because he needs to be taught some manners when he's out and about. He still doesn't really know much about leads or like he get cars freak him out, etc, etc. But we're working on it, so that's good. So, a car was going past there. I'm basically like teaching him when a car, I had to cut off there because a car came. Um, yeah, basically I'm trying to teach him, oh, Massey, out of there please. I'm basically trying to teach him when a car comes that you need to go into the ditch and sit down and not freak out because not that long ago, oh, 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 no, Massey. <laughs> Can't keep an eye. He's still a pup. And he still likes to sniff everything and get into trouble, so you have to keep an eye on him. Not that long ago, he would freak out when a car passed him, like he would uh, like he would try and run, which is very dangerous. So I'm trying to teach him to sit and be calm and be patient and not freak out. And he's doing pretty good on it, to be fair. He did break his leg not that long ago, so um, he's still dealing with that. Um, but he's getting better. He's, he doesn't listen all the time. We're working on that. He'd rather just do his own thing. He doesn't like other dogs particularly very much. Um, but yeah, we're just, all you can do is continually teach them and hope that some of it sticks. He's got a very long lead, but he thinks I'm trying to teach him to come back, like if I stop, he has to know, like he has to know where I am. He does come back after pulling. Here, Massa, here. Here. Come here. Oh, look at that, he comes here. He does come here, he's a good boy sometimes. Are you a good boy sometimes? He comes back for the cuddles. Don't you? You're not a bad boy really, Massey, are you? No. You're a good boy. I'm teaching him here. I'm teaching him about cars. So, and this is like my mental health walk too. I love going on walks. I love being <coughs> in the countryside, apart from when doggies pull my arm off. Um, so yeah, I'm trying to get, I'm trying to do exercise more and breathe in the fresh air and all that and taking the dogs out helps me because I don't know if I could just go for a walk without a dog. Like, a, like locally, it would be too boring for me. So yeah, I think I might end this video here. Thank you so much for watching. Please, like and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.